Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Well, at least that's what we've been convinced, and more than likely, you're probably doing the wrong things because if you're crashing halfway through your workday, this video is for you. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because actually last week I had this conversation with a client. We recently got her hormones tested and the hormone results came back and she had a couple imbalances in her hormones. But one thing that really stood out to me is that her cortisol, her stress hormone, was kind of out of balance. She was really low in the mornings and really high at night, which is kind of the opposite. More often than not, what people do is they, they either skip breakfast or just grab the same thing off the counter from the fridge on their way out the door and on the way to work, they'll eat that quick breakfast just to give them a little fuel, a little boost for the day. Or they'll skip breakfast altogether, grab a cup of coffee and head to work. Well, here's the problem. She was doing this too. The issue was that in the morning, she would have very low cortisol stress levels. And the problem is that later in the day, when her, she was trying to wind down, her stress levels were a lot higher. And more often than not, the reason for this is breakfast. So if there's one thing I want you to take away from today's video, it's actually what you should or and or should not have in your breakfast so you can avoid that afternoon slump. So let's dive in. So as I mentioned, the most common cause for that afternoon slump is not having any breakfast at all or having a too high carb breakfast. So if your breakfast is grabbing a banana or eating a bagel or having a slice of toast or having something like oatmeal before you head to work, that is more than likely the reason you're crashing midday. And also, probably the reason you can't fall asleep at night. Probably the reason you lay in bed at night like, damn, I've been tired all day. Now when I lay in bed, I just toss and turn. I can't fall asleep. It is so frustrating. By the way, I've been there many times before when I didn't understand and know this. And so this is what I suggest. Instead of grabbing that quick and easy thing in the morning for breakfast, you need to change what you're eating in the mornings. And so the one tip I have for you is to focus on protein and fats. You really have two options for breakfast. You either have a balanced meal that is pretty equal in carbs, fats, and protein. So that way you don't see as high of an insulin spike in the morning, which by the way is another reason you lead to that crash later in the afternoon or you have something that is just fats and protein. The beautiful thing with the fats and proteins, number one, you're going to be more satisfied. You're going to be more satiated. You're going to feel a little more full. I don't know about you, but when I have just a bowl of plain oatmeal or just a banana or just a bagel or just a slice of toast, I feel so much more hungry after eating that. And the reason is because carbs will spike your insulin and actually increase your appetite. Where on the flip side, if we have something more fat and protein dense, you're going to feel more satiated, more satisfied from the meal. And there's two other benefits. Number one, it's going to make it way easier for you to hit your protein target later in the day. Because if you are on some sort of fitness journey, you're trying to build some muscle, you're trying to lose body fat, whatever your goal is, you likely should have a protein goal. And if you don't, that's a different, bigger issue. But if you are trying to hit a protein intake, which you should, you definitely want to have a higher protein breakfast because that's going to help you hit your protein goal later in the day. And the second benefit really comes from the sustained energy you get from fats and protein. They're a little bit harder and slower for your body to break down. So typically what you'll see is instead of this energy boost and crash halfway through your day, you're going to slowly see your energy build up and kind of sustain throughout the rest of the day. Even when you have your lunch, you're not going to feel full and sluggish and brain fog after you eat your lunch. You should feel more sustained energy throughout your day. So that way when you get home from work, you have more energy still. You're not feeling sluggish and just like you want to go lock yourself in your room and sit down and binge watch some Netflix, you might have a little more energy to actually like make it to the gym 
or even go on a little walk. Maybe take your kids to or dog to the park. Maybe spend time with your wife and have a deep, intimate conversation. But right now, the breakfast you're having is probably holding you back from a lot of those things in your life that are probably going to increase the quality of your life. All because you choose to have the wrong breakfast. But don't worry. It's not your fault. You didn't know this before. And that's why you're here. And so I hope that after watching this, you can take action. Just like my client did. Because I had a conversation with her today, and she came up to me and told me, holy shit. I said, what? Why did you say that? And she goes, for the first time, I didn't have that crash in the afternoon. For the first time, I got home from work and I had more energy. I was able to tidy up the house a bit. I was able to go on a little walk. I was able to go watch the sunset on the beach. And I was like, what? Really? She was like, yeah, I didn't even know I was able to do that. I just thought I was getting old. By the way, she's 53 years old. This is something that she thought was normal to feel like shit in the afternoons. But really? It was all because of one thing? Her breakfast? You may be surprised, just slightly shifting what you put in your body in the morning can have a dramatic impact on not just your goals, not just your results, but how you feel on a daily basis. So just to remind you, the main things that you want in your breakfast is protein and fat. And by the way, it is okay to have carbs, but it's not ideal to overload on the carbs. So if you're going to have a meal with carbs, just make sure it's nice and balanced. Another option that I just suggested to her to try was actually having one of those Oikos triple zero yogurts that's pretty much all protein. And what I'm having her try is to put a little bit of berries and a little bit of nuts in there. So you get some fats from the nuts, maybe a little protein. You get mostly protein from the yogurt. And on top of that, you get a little bit of carbs from the blueberries or raspberries or blackberries. Also, you get some fiber from those berries. So that's also another benefit, which again, will help you have sustained energy and also help your digestion if that's something that you're struggling with. Another option for breakfast will be having some overnight oats. But in the overnight oats, you wanna have some nuts or peanut butter to add a little bit of fats, right? Because oats are just mainly carbs. But if you add a little bit of fats, so something like nuts or peanut butter, and pro tip, add a scoop of protein powder. That's gonna give you your carbs, fats, and protein. Again, a balanced meal. And this is gonna help you have that sustained energy. So I just gave you, what, four or five different options for you to try. And I guarantee you, if you can swap those out for the breakfast that you're having now, which is like your banana, your oatmeal, your bagel, your toast, whatever it may be, just swapping out for something that is more balanced or focus on fats and protein, I can almost guarantee you're gonna feel 10 times better throughout your day. So do me a favor, give this a try, and then send me a message on Instagram letting me know how this helped you, how you felt after trying, and if it didn't work, please also let me know so I can give you more tips and advice on how to adjust your meals to make it more sustainable, more enjoyable, and to help you feel your absolute best. Thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos, and I hope you have the absolute best day of your life. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.